Hey everybody, welcome back to Nexus Core. Uh, this is Sophie, who's not a cat, she's a real person. And uh, she has for you an Angel Feather deck profile that uh, got first place at our locals last week. And why is that special? Because I was the first female to get uh, first place at the card shop. Yay! Congrats. Indeed. So, standard Angel Feather. <clears throat> Take us through it. Hey guys, I'm Sophie. Um, this is my Angel Feathers deck. I have really been enjoying playing it, um, and I will show you some of the reasons why. Uh, this is my starter, a uh, standard, um, 6k, when you ride upon, you draw a card. And for my grade 3 lineup, uh, I'll start with the Zerachials, which are pretty much uh, what the deck revolves around. Um, this one. <laughs> 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 uh, Where's the camera? Uh. Zerachial. She is a bad bitch. Um, With a Y. <laughs> what a fantastic card. Uh, what makes her so cool in this deck is that when uh, she's in the damage zone face-up, you can ride on top of what other grade 3 you have. And in doing that, it makes um, the Feather Hospital play uh, really, really easy to um, accomplish. Uh, what else? So, it has a continuous effect where if there is a change in the damage zone, um, it gains, uh, the front row gains 3k. Uh, this is great for hitting magic numbers, and you can return it from the grave with one of the grade twos that I'll show you. And, uh, and basically, uh, still get that effect, even when calling from grave. Um, and it's on uh, Vanguard, it's on Rear Guard. I can have, you know, all four Zerachials out, and my front row will gain another 3k, another 3k, another 3k, and another 3k. And so 12k to the front row, which would be pretty nice. It's, yeah. It is pretty nice. And you can also, you know, hide them in the back row, so that can't be targeted, um, and you'll still get the... The 3k effect. So I'm guessing like the ideal thing if you ever did that was like just keep one behind the vanguard so that you know vanguard is always swinging for your twin drive at least. Uh maybe not. I wouldn't really keep her behind the vanguard. Um, well with that specific just, scenario set up yeah but I. Because that that's one way well depending on what you're playing against. If it's another protect clan and they're automatically gonna just uh, PG that but um Let's see what else. So I, I mentioned that uh, when she is faced up, faced up in the damage zone, which with uh, when you're playing Angel Feathers, you can really have a lot of control over what is face up and face down in your damage zone. And when you are able to do that, I feel like there is just so much you can do in a game. Um, where you can really, uh, I feel like it, it is more skills reliant than luck reliant, and I really appreciate that about uh, about the deck, because no matter what situation I'm in, I feel like there is at least one thing that I can do to better that situation. Um, basically the damage zone and the drop zone are like an open hand where you can um, call whatever you want and uh, manipulate however you want and I think that that's totally cool um, you also have a fuck you to Zanbaku because uh, yep the great 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 against uh, uh, Murakumo which is also awesome because yeah. They're, they're no fun. <laughs> Shout out to Raph from Toy Mandala. 
They legit just lock you down and tell you you can't actually play the game. So I'm like, okay, I just take all the damage. Okay, or just ride from damage. Yeah, chuck it for me. It's like, oh, I I can't. Yes, I can. Thank you, Zeracul. Okay. Um. Oh, so when when you do uh ride Zeracul from damage zone, um, you get to put another card face down, basically uh, replacing. Uh, where Zarak heal was, so it's not like a free heal. But there is speaking of free heals, <laughs> let me show you Metatron, the next grade three. And Metatron is another bad bitch. Oh, I love this deck. Okay. Um I would say a a typical good grade or er, like first ride um, would be Zerakiel because when you ride Metatron, doo -doo 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 -doo. I apologize. Can you see her in all her glory? How many copies are you running? Four, and I run four because. When you ride her on top of a grade three, you get a free heal. You counterblast two, and you call, not, not only do you get a free heal, but you're calling something from your damage zone, which you have been manipulating thus far. So you get to call out a, uh, um, card. a card as a, as a rear guard then uh, that nothing is replaced, so you will get, um, ew, my brain. In effect, a free heal? Yes, you get a free heal. Can you call a face down card to rear so you don't? Yes, you can. Awesome. Indubitably. Also, another totally sweet, uh, skill that she has, which is an act skill once per turn, and it really matters in this deck that you can choose when you use that skill. And this skill is basically you are taking a card from your damage zone, and typically I would take you know triggers that I've kind of had face down. Um, you shove that to the bottom of your deck. And then you deal yourself a damage. And if you have a crit trigger, you get to put the crit and the power wherever you want. If you have a draw trigger, you get to put the power somewhere and then you get to draw. And each turn, you get to use this skill. And when you ride a uh, Zerachiel on top of, a Metatron after, let's say, you did the uh, Counter Blast 2 and Heal. If you uh, ride Zerachiel on top and have other things called out on board, and you have used this uh, once per turn skill before calling the Zerachiel out, uh, you will then basically get like extra power and crit. Uh, or whatever need be, um, which is kind of cool because if you are setting up, uh, let's say, Feather Palace as a rear guard, which I will show next, it really matters getting that extra bit onto the Feather Palace so that when I uh, face down my damage zone um, and Soul Blast the two grade threes, and get the plus 20k and the extra crit, and then no sentinels, when you have that extra pressure added on top of it, it really is a game changer. Um, uh, what else? Metatron gets 15k. Yeah, it's 15k you... when you use the, um, the, um, the heal. Still? Yeah. Um, also about... That, let me think. Um, 
I'm missing something. Mm. Okay, uh, so when you're using the heel skill, I try, um, if possible, I guess depending on uh, the situation that um, that you are in in a game. Um, basically, when you call the Zerachiel on top, you'll lose that that 15k. Um, so if you know your opponent doesn't have very many cards in hand, and you really want to get that Feather Palace out and uh, use the Feather Palace ability. Um, then it's uh, it's great to call um, Zeracul on top so that you can soul blast the two grade threes. But I've kind of noticed that um, kind of using Feather Palace as a way to um, pressure your opponent. Um, so, Basically, sometimes I think it's best um, not to use the Feather Palace as soon as it's active. Um, and it's also, a, it, let me show you Feather Palace so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. Feather Palace. Everybody hates Feather Palace. Other way. Should I just like start over? No, it's fine. Yeah. Just keep going. We 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 can edit around all this stuff. So okay. just relax. Pretend pretend you're explaining this to me, and I'm like, what the fuck is Angel Feather? <laughs> what the fuck is Angel Feather? What the fuck is Angel Feather? Like the only real skill I know is this. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is like clues. I'm clueless. Angel Feather is so much fun. That is what it is. Okay, so. Feather Palace. Do, 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 do. That's his actual name, or? Yes. Mobile Hospital Feather Palace. That's even more ridiculous than just Feather Palace by itself. I guess it's like a hospital on wheels? Oh, like no, some I'm, sort of like I'm robotic hospital slash Feather Palace? I, I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going on in the image, but I it's was, a great card. I was just thinking like Transformers ripoff, yeah. and there's a bunch of people like <laughs> there's kids in the NICU, there's you know, there's people like trying to recover from cancer. He's like, I'm gonna blow some shit up, and they're like, we just I, I just got my appendix out, man. Do what, you even uh, remember that Transformers the, name, the the medic? Was there the Transformer? Yeah, name? he was a, like strictly yeah. just a medical like Transformer. It, it, it was kind of before my time, yeah. so and I didn't watch the Michael Bay movies. It was in the cartoons too, but I, like I said, before yeah. my time. Anyway. Ugh, Michael Bay. There's a, a bad taste in my mouth. Ugh. Okay. Mobile hospital. Feather palace. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Um, you know what? I did not mention that uh, Metatron works. Her abilities only work on... Vanguard Circle. Vanguard. Not, not on both. But... Uh, mobile Hospital Feather Palace works on both, and depending on the situation that you are in, sometimes it's best to ride it on Vanguard, and other times it's best to call it to rear. Um, since a lot of um, opponents will see, oh, there's a, a mobile hospital feather palace out. I must destroy it and use all of my manpower to get rid of this card so that it won't get rid of me. But um, luckily with angel feathers, there are many things that we can do to tease the opponent into believing that, oh, we have gotten rid of the feather palace. Rejoice, rejoice. But oh, if I have a Ragwell in hand, Fancy Pants Grade 2, which I will explain, also a bad bitch, then, oh, if what there's, hmm? No, go ahead, sorry. I counterblast one if there's a right. damage in the 
what, changed. What does Feather uh, Palace do? What does Feather Palace do? It does many a things. Um, when it attacks, you get to Soul Blast two uh, grade threes. Um, and from there, you face down all of your cards, which is why it's good to first use uh, abilities and use the counter blasts before you um, face it down. So if you have two face up, it's counter blast two. If you have no face up, it's no counter blast. Indeed. So and if you have four face up, it's four counter blasts. Ouch. Pain. Correct. But you get to choose when you use that ability. Meaning that I can attack as a just, you know, 12k beater and not use the ability. And that works just fine. Um, but it becomes a very easy target on board very quickly. And uh, so when you do Soul Blast the two grade threes, uh, you it gains uh, 20k and an extra critical, and your opponents cannot block with Sentinels, which is a bitch. Suck it. Yes. It also means you're playing 11 grade threes. You can also, um, uh, with many of the other cards, call it to rear guard so you can keep it in your damage zone and um, it won't be targeted in your damage zone. Like boom, surprise, it come out. Yep. <laughs> uh, what else is, uh, is so great about, I mean... Is there a reason, like, does it work for you to run that many grade threes? Because many, a lot of decks usually stick around seven and nine, but Angel Feather runs 11. Does that ever clog up for you, or...? Um... I, it, not really, mm -hmm. to be honest. There is just so much kind of cycling through, you know, graveyard, through this, that um, the rest of the cards kind of work around um, our, our grade threes so that uh, it's, you know, the most... It makes them more more effective. So when we have that many grade threes, um, with you know the grade ones and the grade twos that kind of bring out the best in in our grade threes, it there's there are, are many cards that you know other decks would have that don't revolve around assisting the grade threes, but since they all revolve around them, it's important to run a lot of them. So it's all it's just too damn important to know. Yeah. Also gotcha. probably mm -hmm. the fact that it's a protect clan on top mm -hmm. of it and you have Metatron to continuously yep. heal as well. Like gives you more time to do more of a plays. Mm -hmm. Like I need four Metatron. I want for Zerakiel. And you know, Feather Hospital I, some people I know run two. I run Three, because I know how big of a pressure it is on other people when they when I've played against them, and uh, because of that, it's important to have. If you don't have one in hand or one here, you want to have the option of bringing it out, and then when someone destroys it, you want to be able to bring it out again. And that is uh, is very important. Whether you're bringing it out from damage zone or from the drop zone. And how do you bring it out from the drop zone? I shall show you that now. That is our my grade three lineup. Fun stuff, fun stuff indeed. You know they really um, work very well together. There are lots of really cool combos um, that can be done because of the cohesiveness of the deck in general. All right, so now I'm going to show you this way. 
do 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 do. I'm awful, I know. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Um, this grade two works on the rear and only when there has been oh, placed from hand. Um, when a new card has uh, uh, been put into the damage zone. Um, the way that that happens is pretty much with... Anything? Yeah. <laughs> um, especially the different grade, grade ones. The, um, yeah. And you can choose pretty much when utilizing the, the grade ones when, um, when you want to put something into the damage zone so that you can activate this ability, which is you counter blast one. And you choose a card from the drop zone, and you call it to rear guard. You guys got a grand blue card? No fair. It is a great card. This is not great nature that literally got everything it needed. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I did recently purchase a great nature deck. Oh, Just, so you're one of those people too now. So. <laughs> well, it's more so, you know... I can admire the, the cancerousness of the of the deck, but I only play Protect. And then when I played other games like Magic, I played uh, Control or Midrange, but leaning more towards Control. Yeah, and just the fact that they get like Guard Restrict, the extra I trade, know. extra power, Axel Circle, extra rear guards. I wanted to try something totally different, and also I wanted to get it because like the the one deck that. This deck really cannot work against is great nature. <laughs> I leave for 30 I, seconds uh, and I come back and you guys are complaining about great nature well, during hey, an angel I feather just, deck profile. I just, I, I just got great nature. I procured great oh, nature. I, hey, it's still possible so to now kill you. I'm, I admit that, but mm -hmm. it's really difficult sometimes, Atlas. I have, I just have not had like as great of difficulties playing other decks other than playing Atlas with, with great nature. It, uh, yeah, I guess I have become It's my one, one true love. Yeah. <laughs> my one true. So you're free. No. Yeah, we like hamsters. No, th there, there's... Rich, what is his name? Richard Gere liked hamsters, too. Or, or uh, wasn't there like a Rick yeah. and Morty thing where it's like hamster and butt world or something? <laughs> That's, well, you know what Rick, Rick, Richard Gere did with the hamster, right? That's yes. the, the guy from Pretty Woman with the, like the yeah, swoopy. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Pretty woman. It, I'm pretty sure kids watch stuff. this channel. I feel like. Uh, really well, I didn't say anything damning to Richard Gere or well, I his career. I mentioned all. I mentioned Hamster and Butt World, so that's. Yeah, so that was all you. That was that not was me. me. Anyway. That's a first. Okay, <laughs> this is a wild shot celestial Ragwell. I hope that's how you pronounce Ragwell. Ragiel. I've heard both. But she's a bad bitch, also. Okay, uh, 9K. Um, her ability, which I previously mentioned, only works on rear guard, which is why it kind of sucks if you have to ride her as your um, uh, grade two. But it's not the end of the world. Um, a lot of this deck has Specifically, the uh, the Armady, Raguel, and some of the um, grade ones have an effect that only activates when placed from hand, which means that if you were to procure it from the drop zone with Raguel, it would not, um, the effect would not go off. And I did the amount of fuckery, right? Yeah, that, that would just be... Uh, too broken and, you know, everyone else would stop playing Vanguard because the world would be, you know, shattering. I don't know. Because it's all those close. placed on that hand. That already. They called that G-Era. <laughs> <laughs> um, but basically, um, with this card, I run four. And that's important because sometimes this does end up having to be, uh, you know, Ridden for grade two or um, 
put into the drop zone. If it's in the, the damage zone, you can uh, get it from the damage zone into your hand um, and then call it from hand, which is great. Um, but basically, it's a place from hand ability. And cards that I think are best to um, uh, to get from the drop zone with this card would be um, Million Ray Pegasus, which I'm going to show you next, which I run two of, but it is an awesome card. And with this card, you can, you know, keep bringing it back. So let me show you my... Pegasus. Oh no. So good. Um, I've noticed that this one often uh, becomes a target as well because as soon as you get another card into your damage zone this turn, uh, it gains plus 5k uh, guard and attack. And this works on rear guard and also in the guardian circle. Um, but it does not work on vanguard. Uh, I've seen other people write it as, uh, you know, the grade 2 vanguard and then try to use that skill if they, you know, use one of the grade ones to... Uh, manipulate the uh, damage zone, but um, it does not. And because of that, we don't want to ride this as uh, a grade two. We want to call this to rear or put it into our damage zone to be called out. And with that, we can intercept we can uh, have more attack power. And I don't feel the need to run more of these because I think it's a lot more important to, you know, get one out, intercept, do what you may, and then bring it back with Ragwell. And I run more Ragwell than more Pegasus because I want to be able to choose what I want to bring back and I want to have more options to be able to bring back and that is probably my favorite part about this deck is just the amount of options that we have. This is Million Ray Pegasus. Do you want to know why people thought it worked on Vanguard Circle or just weren't paying attention? So was it, was it the previous? Yeah, one? so the old version of Million Ray worked on Van and Rear, and it was every time a card was put in, it got 2k. Um, and so I think people are still kind of thinking that way. But also, that still means that it doesn't have to see the card put in damage zone, it just means you had to have done it sometime that turn. So it's, a, it's like a lower floor, but also a lower ceiling of... Potential. Yay for history. <laughs> okay. Now, this guy. Boy, is he good. He is your ideal uh, grade two red, in my opinion. Um, You're correct. <laughs> <laughs> it works on vanguard and rearguard, and it has a ability where when placed from hand, you soul blast one, call a card from your damage zone to rear. Meaning when you take your first damage and you ride your, your grade two, oh, let's say I had a, a feather hospital in my damage zone. Does that ever happen? Yep. <laughs> every, every single time I play with this deck, oh, my damage was a heal trigger. Cool. Cry. Single tier, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's happened to me multiple times, actually. Where it... No, no, it's happened twice. It's happened twice. I won't exaggerate. But, you know, I ride my, my grade two. And also, um, you get to soul blast one, meaning 
whatever your soul blessing is going into the drop zone, meaning you can call it out, uh, which is why your ideal um, grade one ride um, is what you're going to want to obviously soul blast out. Otherwise, it, there are other options too, which I'll go over. So, place from hand. Um, you already did the skill. I did the skill. Yeah. I did the skill. What more is there to say? That's it. Keep, That's keep it. Moving. That's it. Yeah. So good. And, um, yeah. So good. Okay. Uh, that's it. Great ones. Great two. Great one. Okay, I will start with uh, these three. The other was he? The other pretty pretty pony. Okay. So, these are your ideal grade one ride. Reason being, pretty much the other bulk of the uh, grade ones are on place abilities, on rear guards, that you want to save to be able to manipulate your uh, damage zone. Um, so, this card is pretty much, when it boosts, you counter blast one, and this deck lets you basically have free counter blasts with Metatron's ability and with uh, the other grade one as well. So you don't ever have to be worry about um, uh, about counter blast, which is great. Um, so basically counter blast one and this unit, when it's boosting another unit, gets plus 10k. So it is an 18k booster. And when you place this behind a feather palace, that's a whole lot of added pressure. Um, can yeah, you, it's can you counter blast for thousand ray before you do uh, feather palaces flip everything down still? Yes. You awesome. Can. Well, it's I think it happens um, at the same time. So you get to choose the order. Yeah, yeah. when it boosts. Yeah. If a new card is put into your damage zone this turn, which always will be, pretty much. Um, okay, so that is uh, Pegasus. Pegasus is a great option to Soul Blast and to call back from the grave and also call from the damage zone because it's not an on place ability. So, this is Arabaki, who is for this deck. Um, Arabaki and uh, Hesdiel are both, um, they really make this deck uh, work. And they are what, the, their abilities basically let you completely have control over the damage zone. Um, meaning, with this card, let's say I have a, uh, a Zerachiel, uh faced uh, faced up in the damage zone, or sorry, faced down, and let's say I'm out of counter blasts and, and unable to use the other grade one. So let's say this is face down in the counter zone, and I can't, you know, superior write it. Um, what is it? It's That's a, just a oh. Zeracule. Okay. Yeah. With uh, Arabaki, with her ability, you know, I call to rear. I discard a card from hand, meaning I get to choose specifically what I'm going to put into the damage zone to be brought back, potentially. Into um, the drop zone? Into the, sorry, yeah. the drop zone. And then I get to take a card from my damage zone and put it into hand and then replace replace it with another one. This card works so well in combination with, uh, let's say, um, oh, I need more guarding, which in this deck 
you will never need more cutting. <laughs> you get so many, so many, so many PGs. <laughs> I am, you know, PGing, discarding a PG, uh, which is great because I can just keep getting more, but I can choose what I want in hand and what I want in the damage zone. Um, and this one does not require any counter blasts, which is very important because sometimes, especially early game, or not really early game, but there will be times when you have used your counter blasts, like with Feather Palace, and let's say you don't have a Metatron on board, on uh, Vanguard where you can, um, you know, use the damage check to give yourself a, uh, a counter blast. Basically, this requires no counter blast. It just require, requires a discard, and when you discard and use the ability, you get to choose a card to put. So let's say this one. Oh, I can't write it. I put the Zerachiel into hand, and what can I do now? I can, I can choose to write it, which don't really need to do because uh, depending on your situation you can always just return it back to the damage zone and then superior to right but you can also call it as rear guards which is great because you get all the the plus 3ks and you can return it from the drop zone to the the board okay um Arabaki, that's pretty much it and the fact that it replaces another one uh you know you show your opponent what it is but if I use a, a uh, let's say like an Armady to, I don't have anything good in my damage zone to call um, to rear guard, uh, I get to basically cycle through with the Arabaki or with the other grade one that I will show you yeah, now. I'm guessing you can also combo that with the rival yeah. grade two, right? So uh, when you call from drop zone. You have to discard so you can put a unit that you don't need right now and call it back later. True. Yeah, that's yeah, that's why you would want to pretty much put one of the two Pegasus pe Pegasus Pegasus. Pegasus. Yeah. Um, Remember, I hate you so much. <laughs> it's um, it, it like it was part of my major, and it's the only thing that justifies my degree. Just let me have this, please. <laughs> <laughs> Pegasus. I'll let you have that. Okay. And this grade one, which I also run four of, um, Pez DL, is a great card. Because it seems kind of similar to Arabaki in that it both, you know, makes changes to the damage zone, but the specific one about this one is it's less about, uh, you know, recycling um, your top, your deck to your damage zone and more about swapping and swapping face up, which is the most important thing for uh, Zerachiel when you want to put it into your damage zone, especially early game. Um, you can superior write it um, only if your um, opponent has a grade three, but this card is what makes it happen. You counter blast one, and basically you're gonna wanna like counter blast the one that you're going to take from the damage zone into hand and replace. So let's say, um, let's say I had like a a, ra a ragwell in my damage zone that I have that I hadn't touched. Um, let's let's do that. I will show you. Let's say this is the damage zone. This is the damage zone. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so it has an on-place ability from hand so that this would not be a good target to bring uh, out as a rear guard. But, you know, if it's early game and that's your option, it's still something. Uh, so with um, with Hesdiel's ability, I would counter blast it. Let's say in hand. Let's say this was my hand. 
Do do. It's a shiny Zoraku. Do do. I would switch that up. Not only do I have a free counter blast, but I don't want to counter blast her. You don't want to do that. She is, it's a free protect gift and another another raid three insult. Um, so now I have my my Ragwell in hand. Which will let me procure many of wonderful things. And this is now face up, meaning that this turn, let's say, hypothetically, if they're at grade three already, I can I can ride it on on uh on Vanguard and that's just glorious, you know? It's it's so glorious. You get to skip a turn basically. Yeah. You know, and with uh with an opening hand Like, it's. I think that uh, it's more important to have like these two in your opening hand than a lot of the others. If even if you have the worst hand where it's all triggers, if you have these two, you don't you don't G assist. You don't have to do anything. Because you can just skip right to three. Yes. That's fun. Have you ever done Zeracule's ride from damage zone while still at zero? Ever? Um. Uh, no. I've yet to do that. I've I have. I, I've well. done from grade one, uh, several times. Um. I mean, never with, not really a need to, because like you probably will have your grade ones most of the time. Um. Yeah. Not from grade zero. That's you, you want to get a grade. No, but I mean like. Inevitably, that has to happen to somebody, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. The, yeah. It, it depends on the situation, but by the time you get to, uh, you know, your opponent at a grade three, you'll, you know, you'll probably want to take a bunch of damage. So maybe you don't even have to put the Zorahil into the damage zone just yet. Um, you might just uh, take a damage, huh. and it'll show up. That happens all the time. Um, what else? Okay, one more. Uh, grade one. And I only run one of it. My grade one lineup is also subject to change because there is a new promo coming out. Uh, dirt, spring like spring fest. fest. Yeah called In Size Angel that I'll, is... I'll put a graphic up on the screen somewhere for people, because... Uh, it's pretty fucking good. What are you going to uh, drop for it, do you think? That's the thing. <laughs> I don't think that I'm going to run more than maybe two of them. Because their ability is on place, but not place from hand. So that means that it's something that I can call out multiple times from damage zone or from uh, from drop zone. And the ability will, <laughs> will go through. Um, I don't want to disrupt my grade one lineup too much. This would be one that I would be taking out. Um, and then... Uh, potentially the Pegasus, actually. Oh, the Pegasus. Yeah. Because it's also something that you can easily call from from drop. Somebody from Great Nature... And it doesn't have an on-place ability. Somebody from Great Nature went to fucking medical school. Huh? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Syringe Lesser. Everywhere. <laughs> I mean, the, the, there's, a, there's a Great Nature card <laughs> called Lesser Writer, and I'm guessing his parents was like, were like, you you gotta get your shit together. You're not gonna make any money writing. This story may or may not have parallels with my real life. And uh, go to med school, and he did. And I love the artwork on this card. <laughs> I'm not going to uh, delve into details as to why, but it uh, it hits home. It hits home. Richard Gear. No, a, <laughs> a giant teddy bear ish thing. With, is that a raccoon? Uh, a raccoon? it's a. Tanuki. Tanuki, thank you. Tanuki. At least that's what it appears to be. Yeah. So what does it do? With a giant syringe. Uh-huh. 
All right, so this can, you know, serve as a 7K booster for whatever you want to do. But its ability is when you shove it into soul, you give two units, plus five, and plus five. And with, let's say, a feather palace out, this is also a great way to add pressure where I shove it into soul. Um, and I let's say it's boost the feather palace is boosted with the Pegasus. I can plus five the Pegasus and I can plus five the feather palace, and that's an extra ten plus an extra room for another. Uh, and it, on top of like yeah. the Pegasus skill, which is like which when is it another ten k. It's an eighteen k on its own. This is another five k to it, and then another five k. So and it's um, more soul. True, and it's also an ability that um, is not placed from hand, so it can be called out. Mm -hmm. It can be called out as a rear guard, or as a, uh, or from the the drop zone. Yeah, recycle with dragon. Pretty yep. good. Yeah. Yep. So this is also another grade one ride that's um, decent. Decent. The only thing is, since it's a 7k, that might not hit if that's, you know, so concerning. But you do what you gotta do. Well, that can help against things like uh, Grand Blue or OGT. Yeah, that's so you true. Can, Ooh, because if you no don't, counter blast, uh, if you don't drive check a trigger, Dan then it gets Man under Romario. and uh, Circle Magus. So, <laughs> not Great. like it hurts us especially. It's like, okay, <laughs> like you, you <laughs> trade a damage for a draw, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, in the case of uh, Romario, it's more painful, I think. It is see. very yeah. painful. Uh, I yeah. uh, played Graham Blue as well yeah. recently, built it into premium, and uh, it's it's very, very, especially playing against Vince, because he also played Graham Blue, and he just denies me my counter blast every time. Oh, that's just, just, a, it's, that, that's just Vince being Vince. I that's, know, you know, and I said, hey, Vince, that's a dick move. We're just trying to play, right? And he's like, oh. Yeah, but we're playing to win, right? Yeah, but we're not in bird culture, <laughs> so it's fine. So You don't play Grand Blue and play to win. Yeah. So, what? trigger win. For real. Up. No. What do you mean, play to win? Grand Blue is not, you're going and playing. It's, you're not going to, like, place first. For the most part, uh, if we went to Toilet Mandala, I tried doing Grand Blue. It, no. But it's the kind of deck that you play because it's really fun. Mm -hmm. in, my, in my opinion. So, four heels. For heels, sunny smile angel. Big smile. Yeah, there you go. Heels. Not much to it. All right. Standard so, um, I run. Let me see the rest of my. Four critical hit angels. <clears throat> Three. Uh, Samyazas. So seven crit. <clears throat> then let me show you my draw lineup. I do seven crit and um, five draw. The reason being so, um, okay, there's the no seal draw, these four, which are PGs. And then the fifth draw is a, uh, a bouquet toss messenger. Now this is a 5k shield draw trigger. And I run one of these because I get so many PGs that this is a great card to discard <laughs> with your PG. Not even to draw? I mean, uh, no, well, yeah, that's, that's one way to think about it. You get it into you use the ability, you get the draw, but it's it's also gr just a great discard card. Or if you're like in that instance where you're 5k short, you could use that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, get, you have the, the 5k shield, which is why you don't really need to use the shield. You can if you need a 5k, but other ones are 10k or 20k, 15, whatever. But the you know if you get your the 10k to put wherever need be and the draw ability 
it's just a great discard. So sometimes I have stuff in my hand where I'm like, no, I don't want to put you into the, dr the drop zone because then I can potentially not, you know, use your ability bringing you back. And this one's don't, like, don't oh, gonna, hey. Don't want to commit PG cannibalism? Yes. Yeah. Plus, you know, PGs are useful. Even if I'm, like, PG discarding PGs, it's still useful. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then isn't it also a way, if you are on Metatron for a bunch of turns and you put a bunch of cards on bottom, it can help you kind of speed back around to the stack you started creating? Yep. Especially if the freaking uh, they do the Melissa thing against you. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, that you would probably to... kill you faster than you would get to the stack. With, <laughs> with sure. Metatron, mm -hmm. you get to stack your, oh. your triggers at the bottom, which is really cool. Really, really cool. Overall, this deck is just so much fun to play. Um, I love the mechanics. I love the amount of options. Um, she loves her bad bitches. I love my bad bitches. I do. I do. Um, uh, I also, I know some other uh, protect clans will maybe run four protect markers or maybe That's the average, five. You know. I get so many of these protect markers that I run, I run a, a, whole, a whole slew of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. A whole six protect markers. <laughs> I would love to see a person just have like a hundred protect markers in a pile and just for no reason. I mean, <laughs> I'm Scarlet I'm, Witch Coco. But the, will a game ever last that long? Probably not. No, I was because you can discard cards and get gifts and stuff. No, but like I just want to see a player yeah. with like a stack of a hundred protect markers for no, no reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So many protect markers, and you know, you can pick up cards from your damage zone that you want to ride, and it's just, you will use, you will use them all, if you're playing correct. <laughs> <laughs> or you'll at least be around the average of four. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I definitely recommend using uh, more, more than four. Even f I was using five, and it just almost wasn't enough. Yeah, I kept. I I didn't like the way that it pl played out. As far as um, I would have to, you know, discard another one of these to like replenish my um pile. my pile. You uh, might be the only person I know who pers who explained why they were running the amount of gifts that they did. It's a whole lot of gifts. I, I mean, there's I know, good but, reason no, for no, it. But, but like, mostly it's just like, run them, you just run as many or as necessary, or like, check out my shiny ones. I mean, or, it's, at, at the most, uh, you just I want one for every grade for three. Like, angel yeah, feathers, yeah. I think it's very important because it will affect your gameplay if you are specifically using your protect markers to replenish your protect marker pool for when you have to draw another protect marker when you do another ride or a spirit or a Now here's a question for for the clan. If you put are you able to put a protect marker into the damage zone? No. Okay. Uh not not no. in standard. Okay, uh, so it, I believe it's it says unit cards for the Hesdiel. But it says put a unit and a protect marker isn't a unit. Yeah. No. Cool. Now, older Angel Feather... But like, you don't want to put a Protect Marker into your damage, though. Well, you want to put... Pseudo Heal, though. You know, a, a <laughs> Zerath Heal, you want to... You want to... Mainly Zerath Heal. You want, you want them all face up. I mean, in the, in the old days, it was, uh, it was just put a card into your damage zone, and if you put a Protect Marker into the damage zone, it ceases to exist, so you effectively heal, um, which is a thing you can do in Premium, but... Uh, Maybe maybe one of us will make premium angel feathers someday. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.